Hello, journaling friends and crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann. Today's Sunday, November 24th. And I guess, you know, I have to start by saying this video is not for children's content. There's nothing in here that would be of any interest to any child. I'm not advertised. I don't do ads on my channel. So there's my disclaimer. Anyway, I have finished another journal. This one is heavily botanical, but it also has lots of threads and things sticking out. So here she is. She's done. She is, let me look at the details here because I've already forgotten. She's three signatures, 144 pages, nine by six. Um, she has a two inch spine. And um, she does have a cloth cover. This is um, the canvas. I think they call it duck cloth. You're going to find there are still threads all over her. Uh, it's just like I said, there's lots of fibers and threads in here. So I'm going to go fairly quickly. Um, I've got a lot of homemade, handmade tags. She has a pocket in the front and one in the back. A little stamp there. I don't, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time and go through all the tags and pockets, otherwise, this thing would be 20 minutes long. The papers are tea stained, so I think I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys take a look. did make uh, two snippets and I did completely use one of them in here as a little belly band. That's the end of the first signature. Here's another one of the little fabric snippets that I made. I use them up as quickly as I make them. She does have some light stamping. I didn't overdo the stamping. Sometimes I think less is better. But that's just my own personal taste. Just have a lot of fabric sewn. I didn't sew it on every page. It's like I said, I kind of backed off on this one and left more room to write and do other things. There are a lot of tucks and pockets in here. I love making these fabric tuck spots. There's the end of the second signature. There's a nice tuck. Oh, each signature has the paper bag with the um, large tag. Oh, I should mention, um, I did use, some of these are from Artie Mays, and I also used Old Design Shop. And I want to thank um, Art Archaeologist. Um, for giving me some ideas that I did use in here. She has several videos on how she makes her journals. So I want to give credit to those, um, those people. And if I forgot anything in my old age, um, please let me know if you see. Oh, I did use some of the images are Pixabay which is um, their 
copyright free images. I think I, I think I typed in vintage uh, botanicals. I got quite a few. I love. Like, see, this is that's from Pixabay, and the other two. There's two more. Um, I love this fabric. I got that at um, Hobby Lobby, I think. Yeah, this is Pixabay. Gorgeous images, and they're copyright free. I've put some of my photos on there, but I can't remember my password. It's like, oh, whatever. So that's, uh, like I said, every signature has one of the paper bags and the, the Artie Mays sunflowers. I'm getting back in the mood to do uh, botanicals. Okay, that's that's Pixabay. So check them out. Believe that is old design shop. If my memory serves me correctly, and then this is like I said, the front and the back both have pockets. And, you know, I, I left the cover kind of plain because this gorgeous fabric, I didn't, I really didn't want to, I really didn't want to cover it up. Um, I'm just putting this green sorry silk on her to close her. She's not, she doesn't really, you know, pop open, um. And I didn't, I didn't overstuff her. I think each signature has 12 papers, if I counted correctly. Um, but I did want, I did want to have some uh, fabric and things, threads sticking out. So um, I did do that. You can see some of these are on the tags. And then some of these I did attach on the pages. So those of you that like this look. Oh, another thing is that all the papers are not the same. There are different sizes and um, there are different shapes and so they're not they're not uniform. So if you want a journal with uniform papers, this is not the one for you. Um, this is, you know, eclectic. It's kind of it's kind of boho, boho botanical, but um, this is my style, and I really enjoy doing these. So I will list her in my Etsy shop, Deserts and Beyond. So come on over and take a look. Thanks for stopping by, and bye for now.